Hello, my friends. This is immigration attorney Joseph Patrick Murphy with Allegheny Immigration Group. I've got a short video today about the expansion and extension of Liberian DED. And again, my name is Joseph Patrick Murphy. I'm an immigration attorney with Allegheny Immigration Group. The office number is 412-521-2000. My personal cell, text, WhatsApp, Viber, and IMO are all the same number, 412-973-3442. That number rings right through to me. I'll be happy to take your call. Joseph Patrick Murphy. People call me all the time, and you can too, 412-973-3442. And we're talking about Liberia and DED. Okay, so the first thing is, uh, what is DED? DED is an abbreviation. It stands for deferred enforced departure. It's an order from the President of the United States to not deport people from certain countries. And you can see it right here in the, uh, the presidential proclamation about DED. There's his name right at the bottom, Joseph R. Biden. And people who qualify for DED cannot be deported and they can even qualify for a work permit and a social security number. So it's a pretty good deal. DED is very rare. In the whole world, there are only three DED countries, Liberia, Hong Kong, and Venezuela. And there's a couple interesting things you should know about DED. For starters, you don't apply for it. It's automatic. There's no DED card. But if you do qualify for DED, you can apply for a work permit and a social security card based on the fact that you're qualified for DED. In spite of what many people are saying, DED is not an extension of the Liberian Green Card program. The Liberian Green Card program is over. Unfortunately, that was a wonderful and very popular program, but it had to end and it ended on December 20th, 2021. So DED is not an extension of the Liberian Green Card, and there is no path to green card or citizenship on DED. You just can't be deported, and you can get important immigration benefits like the work permit and Social Security card. But there's a big question about who qualifies for this wonderful program. The executive order in question does two important things. It extends the status of people who already have DED for another two years, and it expands the number of people who can get DED status. So for people who are already in DED status and perhaps have work permits based on that, that'll continue until June 30th, 2024. So if you're doing DED now, you'll be able to continue doing that until June 30th, 2024. You'll be able to extend your work permit and you'll continue to be protected from deportation. The really exciting thing here is the expansion of DED. This allows people to get into DED that weren't previously qualified. And of course, if you get DED, you can get the work permit and social security card that can lead to getting driver's license and all sorts of other nice things in the United States. So you're gonna to have to prove a couple things to prove that you're eligible to be admitted into the expanded DED. But first you have to prove that you are in fact Liberian and you can usually do that by showing a copy of the bio page of an unexpired Liberian passport. The bio page is the page that has your picture on it. You have to prove that you entered the United States on or before May 20th 2017, and arguably you have to prove that you were in the United States on May 20th, 2017. You have to prove that you have no more than 180 days outside the United States since May 20th, 2017. This is called proving continuous presence. Now the Liberian Green Card program is closed, but that also required proof of continuous presence. And I did a video about how to prove continuous presence when I was representing people in the Liberian Green Card. Now, this is not the Liberian Green Card, this is DED, but at the end of this video, I'm going to leave you a link to the video I did back in the Liberian Green Card program on how to prove continuous presence in the United States. It's a very good video, explains all the ways you can do it, and I encourage you to look because people are going to have a lot of questions about how to prove that they've been continuously present since May 20, 2017, and you're going to have to prove that to get your Liberian DED. So take a look at that video at the end of this video. There'll be a little thumbnail that you can click and see that video about proving continuous presence. Another thing, it's not a matter of proof, but you're gonna to have to be what's called otherwise admissible. If you've got serious crimes in the United States or if you did misrepresentations to immigration in the past, you're probably not admissible for this program. And I'll tell you something else. If you're admissible to this program and you qualify for a DED now, but you start doing those sorts of things. That is, if you start doing crimes or if you start misrepresenting to immigration, or if you go outside the United States for more than 180 days, you're gonna lose your DED qualification. So you should not only have those things to get in, but you have to keep those things. You have to stay crime-free, you have to stay continuously present, and you can't uh, become uh, inadmissible for lying to immigration. And of course, unless they extend it again, this program, this extension and expansion of DED for Liberians ends on June 30th, 2024. So that's the basic rundown. Now there are some common questions. I'm getting a lot of calls here. People asking me questions about Liberian DED. The first question is about whether you can get a green card off DED. The short answer to this is no. Uh, DED is not a path to green card or citizenship, but it does prevent you from being deported and you can get work permit 
social and other privileges here in the United States. Now, while you're here in the United States, if you marry a citizen, uh, you could you know, get a green card off that, but you'd be getting the green card off marriage to a citizen and not DED. The next question is, did they just extend the Liberian green card? That one's also a no. The Liberian green card program, the real name of that was the Liberian Refugee Immigration Fairness Act. And by its terms, all applications had to be in by December 20th, 2021. There's no way to apply for the Liberian Green Card program, and it was never extended beyond that time. Liberian Green Card program is closed. This is not a path to green card. It's not the Liberian Green Card program, and you can't become a citizen off DED. Uh, some other people asked if this was just another type of TPS. Uh, no, it's DED. TPS and DED are similar. TPS is a designation by the Department of Homeland Security. A lot of countries are in TPS. DED is a presidential order. It's very exclusive. As I said, there's only three countries that are DED designated. Those are Venezuela, Hong Kong, and Liberia. We also got a lot of good questions on the YouTube channel. I've already released a video about Liberia and DED on our Allegheny Immigration Group YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this video, and that'll be alongside the link to the video about proving continuous presence. They'll both be available as thumbnails at the end of this video. You can click on either or both and get more information about Liberia and DED and about proving continuous presence. But we did get a lot of good questions over the YouTube channel. I'm gonna go into some of those now. Well, the one question is what documents are required? What documents do you have to submit with your application for a work permit based on being qualified for Liberian DED? First thing is the Liberian passport. You have to prove you're Liberian. It's a Liberian program um, that is Liberian DED and you have to prove you're qualified for Liberian DED to get a work permit based off Liberian DED. So you have to prove you're Liberian. You do that by attaching a copy of your Liberian passport, the bio page. That's the one with your picture on it. The next thing is your entry stamp. In one of your passports, there ought to be a stamp showing that you entered the United States on or before May 20th, 2017. It may not be in your current passport. May 20th, 2017 is a couple years ago. Some people, the passports expire. But if you have your old passport, I would submit a photocopy of the bio page of that passport and the entry stamp into the United States, again, showing a date entering the United States on or before May 20th, 2017. There's also the I-94. So you may have been given a little I-94 form uh, when you enter the United States, again, that would show the date you were admitted. It's similar to the entry stamp. And if you don't have the I-94, there's ways to get that online. I'll go into that in a minute. You can also get uh, on the web, you can get your I-94 and you can get your travel history. Customs and Border Patrol keeps a log of all entries and exits from the United States. There'll be a list under your name and uh, traveling information. So you can get a copy of your most recent I-94 record of entry and a copy of your travel history as reported by Customs and Border Protection on the Customs and Border Protection website. I have that web address right here, i94.cbp.dhs.gov. That's what it looks like. That's the, the website there. With any work permit, you have to submit two passport style photos. This is not the actual photograph that's glued in your passport. They're photographs in the style of a passport photo. You can get these at any of the big box retailers, Target, Walmart, Walgreens, any place like that has passport photo service. You can usually get them for around $15. But you need to submit two passport style photos with any work permit application, including an application for work permit under Liberian DED. Next thing is the proper fee. You have to submit the proper filing fee with any work permit application. In order to determine the proper filing fee, I used the USCIS online fee calculator. The address for that, you can do this online, is uscis.gov slash fee calculator. For form number, I entered I-765. That's the, the number of the form to apply for a work permit. Of course, your age will almost certainly differ, but I just put in a 40 as an age for the age of the person applying. This application is nationality-based. It's based on being Liberian. It's called Liberian DED, so I put this as a nationality-based work permit. And the website correctly identified this application as a DED case and indicated to me that the correct filing fee is $410 and that there is no biometrics required on application for work permit based on DED. Now again, you're also going to have to include proof of continuous presence in the United States since May 20th, 2017. But I have some experience in proving continuous presence. It was required in the Liberian Green Card program. Now, as I've said, the Liberian Green Card program is closed, but we learned some valuable lessons during the Liberian Green Card program about how to prove continuous presence. 
I made a video about that. It's called Proving Continuous Presence in Liberian Cases, and I'm going to leave a link to that video at the end of this video. You may want to look at that. Now, again, in that video, I talk about the Liberian Green Card Program, but the Liberian Green Card Program is closed. But the information about how to prove continuous presence is good, valuable information. I encourage you to take a look at it. A lot of people are going to have a lot of confusion about how to prove continuous presence, and I think that video will give you some great guidance. Okay, so now we're going to get into some of the questions that came in on my YouTube channel, and that is the Allegheny Immigration Group YouTube channel. The first question relates to people who entered after May 20th, 2017, but less than 180 days after May 20th, 2017. Now, here's the idea. They could have had the time out, so what does it matter? All right, so that's the question. The question specifically reads, what about a Liberian who came to the United States on May 30th? 2017 till today and has not taken any trip outside the United States. Since it says May 20th, 2017, I just want to know if such who came in at that time is also eligible. Okay, so this person came in 10 days after the cutoff date and never left. If they came in on or before May 20th, 2017, they could have had up to 180 days out since that time. And this guy's asking, well, I only had 10, but his entry was after the cutoff date. So I'm going to say this person is not qualified. He's not in DED. And this comes from the word since. They use it right there in the presidential proclamation. You can see it here. And this means that if you first entered the United States at any point in time after May 20th, 2017, you're not going to be in DED. Of course, there may be more extensions and expansions of this exciting DED program in the future. Stay tuned to our Allegheny Immigration Group Facebook page and our Allegheny Immigration Group YouTube channel for future updates about Liberian programs, DED extension, anything like that. This is immigration attorney Joseph Patrick Murphy with Allegheny Immigration Group. Our firm represents Liberian interests nationwide, and we'd love to talk to you. The main number at my office is 412-521-2000, and my personal cell Text, WhatsApp, Viber, and IMO are all the same number, 412-973-3442. That number rings right through to me, 412-973-3442. I'll be happy to take your call. People call me all the time, and you can too. Joseph Patrick Murphy, Allegheny Immigration Group, representing Liberian DED cases. I was going over some questions that came in over the YouTube channel about Liberian uh, DED programs, and I, I wanted to give a special recognition to Georgia Kamara. Georgia is a good friend and a tireless advocate for the interests of Liberian people in the United States. It was actually Georgia who talked me into traveling to Brooklyn Park all those times at the beginning of the Liberian Green Card program, even during Corona. Georgia even commented on the last DED video. Joe, this is a great video. Thank you for putting out the information and thanks for helping the community. This information is gold. Thank you, Georgia, for your support of the Liberian community and for your kind words about me. So this last YouTube question is, I think, the best question that came in so far. The question reads, Joe, I was physically present in the U.S. in April to June of 2017. I went back to Liberia then came back in August 2017. I've been living in the U.S. from August 2017 up to now. Can I be eligible for DED? So this person was present. April to June 2017 includes May 20th, 2017. So this person was present in the United States on May 20th, 2017, and came left in June, and then came back in August, July, August. So this person probably has 60 days outside the United States. The person sounds qualified. They're Liberian. They were physically present on May 20th, 2017. They have less than 180 days outside the United States since May 20th, 2017, those two months, July and August of 17. I'm presuming that they haven't done any crimes or lied to immigration. And therefore, I would suggest this person is already on DED and can apply, can go forward and apply for a work permit, social, driver's license, all those benefits. This is Joseph Patrick Murphy of Allegheny Immigration Group, and this is my second video on the extension and expansion of Liberian DED. If you'd like to see my first video, there'll be a link to that at the end of this video. There will also be a link about proven continuous presence in Liberian cases. As I've said, that video was made for support of people going through the Liberian Green Card Program. Liberian Green Card Program is closed, but USCIS requires continuous presence in a lot of different types of cases, including Liberian DED cases. If you want information about how to prove continuous presence in your Liberian DED case, just take a look at that video. There's a link at the end of this video, a little thumbnail, you can click it, and it'll give you information about how to prove continuous presence in any case. This is immigration attorney Joseph Patrick Murphy of Allegheny Immigration Group. My firm represents Liberian interests nationwide and we'd be happy to talk to you about your Liberian immigration needs. Joseph Patrick Murphy, Allegheny Immigration Group. The main number is 412. 
521-2000. My personal cell text, WhatsApp, Viber, and IMO is 412-973-3442. Joseph Patrick Murphy, number rings right through to me, 412-973-3442. This is Joseph Patrick Murphy. Thank you for watching. Oh, yeah.